In the news this week, Rowan Atkinson joins the chorus of criticism against the Scottish hate crime bill. Publishing giant Hodder and Stoughton censor a legal article on transgenderism and free speech. And a woman with cerebral palsy aims to sail across the Atlantic. Hello. Actor and comedian Rowan Atkinson has joined the growing chorus of opposition to the Scottish Government's hate crime bill. Alongside more than 20 other well-known actors, writers and campaigners, Atkinson signed a letter warning the SNP that its bill risks stifling freedom of expression. The government is proposing to criminalise abusive words or behaviour that is likely to stir up hatred. But the letter points out this could have unintended consequences. As currently worded, the bill could frustrate rational debate and discussion, which has a fundamental role in society, including in artistic endeavour. The right to critique ideas philosophical, religious and other, must be protected to allow an artistic and democratic society to flourish. It follows similar warnings from police, lawyers, national newspapers and the Christian Institute. The author of an article on transgenderism and free speech has resigned after the publisher consulted a controversial lobby group and censored his work. Ian Yule had written a piece for the A-Level Law Review magazine, summarising the highly public Harry Miller court case. In February, a judge ruled that police unlawfully interfered with Miller's free speech when they questioned him for sending tweets alleged to be transphobic. But Hodder Education decided the article could be seen as offensive and sent it for review by Mermaids, a group which promotes radical gender ideology. It asked them to suggest examples we can use to counteract the tone and opinions in the piece and for amendments to anything you feel is untrue, unfair and or offensive. After being told to accept all of the changes, you'll resigned. In the process of reviewing my article, Mermaids effectively destroyed it. The Home Secretary has asked for an investigation into increased cocaine use by young people. Writing to the Advisory Council on the misuse of drugs, Priti Patel said tackling drugs is a top priority. She asked them to consider why do some young people start using powder cocaine and why do some of those continue to use it into adulthood? She then went on to ask how the government could use this insight to prevent young people using powder cocaine for the first time and divert them from ongoing use. And finally, a woman born with cerebral palsy is preparing to test her limits by sailing across the Atlantic Ocean. Natasha Lambert, whose condition affects her movement and ability to communicate, uses a unique system to allow her to skipper a yacht. By blowing into a tube, Natasha is able to turn to port, while inhaling turns the boat starboard. She and Mother Amanda were interviewed by the BBC. How does it feel being in control like that? Superb. Superb. Yeah, you really like to have the control, don't you? It's an amazing feeling for you. And that's, that's some sort of something that control-wise, Tasha doesn't always have in the rest of her life. So to be in control of something like that is fantastic, isn't it? How are you feeling about that big trip ahead of you? <laughs> so excited. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.